Hello and welcome to episode 84 of Vokta Gaming. I'm your host, the vocal terrorist Jesse Rain, and we are here with game 3 on MLG Shattered Temple. Between these two players, first up, we have our blue zerg. He is Millennium's Lalush. And over here we have our red terran. He is Prodigy. What do you think of that to an intro audience? I think that was pretty special. Okay, so this is a continuation of last week's games, which saw Lelouch already go 2-0 up. And honestly, the way he is playing, I just do not think he can be beaten. My prediction is for him to take this 3-0. So, some quick background on what happened over the weekend. Um, I had an amazing Saturday night with my fiance who is of course the single greatest person in the world um, that was absolutely fantastic it's probably the best night of my life in fact so near nah, to you all by the time you will be watching this it will be at the very most 39 days until I fly out to India and actually get to see her so please please be excited for that because of that I have been jabbed twice so far once in each arm I am now vaccinated against hepatitis A typhoid polio and diphtheria so if you are planning a biological attack on my bedroom that will no longer be viable so uh, boo sucks to you this is the latest Vokta Gaming has ever been recorded, by the way. It is now currently 8.29pm, because uh, I intended to do it earlier today, and then uh, my fiancé was being awesome, so I got distracted there, and then I fell asleep, because, I don't know, I do not get enough sleep. Especially now I intend to be working nights. Ooh, saucy little quick two racks there. Hide in that second one. Prodigy, you are a naughty, naughty boy. Lelouch is, of course, taking that expansion at 14, as he does. Getting the spawning pool. Probably going to follow this up with a gas. There it goes. Right there and then. Very, very nice. Command Center is morphing to the orbital command. This is pretty much just me giving play by play. So instead of me just boring you completely, oh, dropping that racks to the low ground there, very, very nice. Going to cut down on the marine run time. So this could be interesting. Is he sending an STV? He is. So it looks like he's going to try a bunker pushing. We have the first of the bunkers going down outside of vision range. Of course, he does know it's there because the drone is scouting it. And he is pulling the drones. Six drones coming down now to stop this in its tracks. See you later, bunkers. Well, see you later, SCVs, at least. Drones now attacking the Marine. That SCV goes down, so that bunker is not happening. But now we have three Marines out, and these drones are going to have to retreat. So this bunker could definitely be finished. Of course, if he loses the SCV, he's got to wait for another one to get up there. So it would definitely be worth sending some of these drones back to stop that from finishing. But it does look like he is going to put a stop to this anyway. This is... Really, really tense. We have more Lings popping out now. I'm going to kill that SCV. Now, they are not going to take down that bunker. They've got to cut off these Marines right now. And so the drones can go home. Okay, it looks like that is pretty much over and done with. I don't think these four Marines, well, uh, soon to be six, are really going to do a lot now. He has the Ling prints on the map. Uh, serving speed is on the way. But we have three more barracks being added. So this is a heavy heavy push from Prodigy this is going to be two racks into five wow okay Lelouch obviously still only on the one gas you cannot take gas when you are under pressure like that you need every mineral and drone you can get he's watching this goal base things have settled down now it looks like uh, Prodigy has in fact gone right the hell home so no aggression for at least a few more minutes so I can talk about what I was about to talk about during the downtime we had as we see a spine crawler going down there um, I don't know if any of you guys have heard of him Tobuscus or uh, as he's also known Toby Games I'm currently watching him play Assassin's Creed Brotherhood from a while ago and holy crap he is the funniest guy in the world big kudos to my brother in fact for finding him um, I was spent yesterday watching this dude ride roller coasters and make wookie noises, you know? Like, that is the sign of a true 
funny internet man, internet comedian man, man, many men. Um, oh god, I'm losing my mind. It's half past eight at night. I've been asleep. Leave me alone. Holy crap, this is a lot of marines. And notice, not a single tech lab or reactor in sight. So there are going to be no upgrades on these marines, and I do not think that is necessarily the best way to go. I would have liked to have seen a tech lab. I'd have liked to have seen combat shield and stim. Maybe a couple of marauders in here to tank the spine crawler. But I don't know. Um, I don't think this is going to work. Just simply put. Well, it's not going to work anymore because there is a bailing nest on the way. So he has a very, very short window of time to make this do something. The factory is being made, but I think that's just for the uh, the starport and medevacs. I don't think he's going to use that for anything. And now marines are dying to this spine crawler because, of course, they cannot stim, they cannot combat shield, and they don't have any marauders to tank. Prodigy! Ah! What an absolute waste of time that was. Okay, so this push is effectively over now. Until he gets medevacs out. And here we see double port. They are going to be for medevacs right now. That's the only way I can see this going. Is, uh, is full medevac support for the bio. But even then you want marauders. You want upgrades. Ah, Prodigy has not played this well. He's really fallen to pieces after that last game. Although I cannot blame him, now the Zerglings get this around, and all oh, those Marines die. So once again, he does not have enough Marines to make this work. He has four Bailings about to hit his Marines. Here they come now. Bailings are going to finish. Here they come. Bye-bye, Marines. Oh, doing a horrendous death there. Oh, all the Marines go down. Pulling drones to help defend because he knows if he holds this off, he is miles ahead. See you later, Marines. And there they go. Good night, Irene. Oh, Lalosh, defending perfectly. Didn't overmake defences. Made one spine crawler that held it long enough to get a defence up. And now he's going to push with Zerglings and Bailings. He's going to get more Marine kills here. Oh, those Marines go down as well, so there is no push for a very long time from Prodigy. Because right now, oh, uh, what? Two Port Banshee coming from Prodigy? Okay, I did not expect that. I expected Medivax to support his bio, but hell, it makes sense because you just lost all your bio. You ain't done nothing, Prodigy. Getting Cloak up as well at this tech lab, the one furthest away. Bailing's coming in to bust against that supply depot. Not going to be enough, I'm afraid, because he did wall off very intelligently. But of course, there go these supply depots. That is a pain. He needs to remake those. Obviously not right now. He has built more than enough because he knew he was going to lose those at the front. And the racks will get repaired, but that does cost money. Okay, we have two Banshees now out on the field. What do we have at home? We have Overlords, which is no use. An Evo Chamber, which is going to allow for Spore Crawlers. Very nicely timed there. We do not, as yet, have a Spire. So, of course, there are no Muters to help defend. So, it is nothing but Queens and eventually Spore Crawlers when they can get up. So, right now, this Queen is taking some damage. Some damage. But a second Queen has joined the fray. Does not get a transfuse off because it has no energy. We have another queen here that should be helping, but still. Two, it looks like it's more than enough to fend that off. See you later, Banshee. Once again, completely ineffective attack from Prodigy. Losing a Banshee before Cloak is even finished is not the way to go when you are doing two port Banshee. Of course, Cloak does now finish, and he has two more on the way, so theoretically, he could do a ton of potential damage with this as one Queen dies, and another will soon join it. But of course, Spore Crawler's now out, and in the middle line, so there goes one Banshee. Another one already down to half health. We have a Spore Crawler up here as well, and another one morphing, so... Uh, uh, uh. Does get another queen though, so that's pretty nice. Can theoretically sit far enough away from that spore crawler, yep, to attack the buildings. But of course, that's not really what you want to do. Um, 
spawning pools are so so cheap and we have a ton of bathing morphing here by the way ladies and gentlemen we have a ton more zerglings coming down to join them so I'm afraid this is going to do less than nothing spore crawler now repositioning itself so that that can no longer happen <laughs> unfortunately the Manchester is still slightly too far away but dies anyway and here comes another marine post that is about to die horrendously as those bailings just kill everything in sight. Oh wow. This just reaffirms bailings as my absolute favourite unit in this game. Look at Lelouch once again ahead on supply. These Banshees are just doing nothing of note. Gonna kill some creep timbers, that's nice, but a Hydra Den is on the way. Which of course means no more Banshee Troubles because Hydras will kill them super, super dead. This is pretty much just a game of Lelouch being awesome which I'm perfectly fine with because damn am I loving his play. Everything he does is just spot on. He's not wasting clicks, he's not wasting units. He has got right now three Banshees attacking him though, so this gas could easily go down. I wouldn't mind seeing a few more Spore Crawlers dotted about the place. Just to stop this from happening as the Queens all get trapped in a place where they cannot escape from very easily. We have four Banshees now doing the damage and Bailing's going down, which is uh, not that great. Meanwhile, these Zerglings will come out and once again cut off any reinforcements. So the Banshee Harass is nice, but it's not doing the damage it could because it does not have that marine reinforcement. Something I want to quickly put out. Oh, hang on a minute. Overseer is here. So the Queens will now be able to see these cloaked units, bringing them back within range of the Spore Crawler. And Hydra's out now, so yeah, goodbye Banshees. They need to get on out and rejoin the main army. Okay, this is what I want to talk about. This Overlord here, dropping creep here is just lovely as once again another banshee spawns and forces Lalush to go on home with them zerglings but yeah this is really nice denying this expansion completely for prodigy right now as he has that orbital command morphing but he cannot do anything about it while those lings were there now a marine is going to come out and get rid of this overlord but it still takes a little while for this creep to uh, to clear up and while we have creeps spreading out to here, of course, those creep tumors did get killed, which has forced this creep back. And everything is kind of quiet again. Not a lot happening. Back at home, we have Groove Spines on the way. That's pretty much it. It's just the attack range of the Hydralisks. As there's not a great deal to talk about. Okay, Prodigy is walling this off and he's getting two Ravens out. I don't know how well this is going to work. I don't know what Ravens can do. Of course, they do have the PDD to help against. It doesn't matter because Banshees are coming in now. Things are happening. Things are being shot at. Prodigy is flying. No, I'm horrendously bored right now. I don't know about you guys, and I'm sorry to say that during a cast. But right now, there's just nothing happening. Okay, these Banshees are going to try and do some damage. And taking out that Queen very, very nicely. But again, they are forced to retreat very quickly. They really want to meet up with those Ravens. PDD will be so useful right now. The uh, the point defense drone there, that is a hundred energy to cast though. And he does not have the upgrade so that they start with a ton. Of course, ten more energy required to drop one point defense drone each. And now he's just going to sit in the middle of the map and wait for that to come up. Okay, this is a big force. I mean, this is, this is uh, you know, Sky Terran style, Banshee Raven. Um, you expect more... Vikings and battle cruisers, but never mind. I'm sure if he manages to survive any length of time, we'll see that. And now it is useful um, against a Zerg player going for this style, but the Hydras are just going to absolutely wreck them. Of course, PDD does help against that, but Hydras have a very high shot rate, which means they wear out those PDD very quickly, like so. And now he needs the Overseer there so that he can actually fire at these. Transfuse is going down and keeping these uh, 
Hydras alive longer than they normally would. And he's losing a lot of Banshees and they cost so much to replace that you just cannot really afford to lose them like this. Queens, you are focusing on the Raven. What are you doing? Oh, some slight error of judgment from uh, Lelush there has really affected his play. Oh, he could have killed the rest of those or at least forced them to retreat. Now he does have the infestation pit, so that is on its way. Meanwhile, we just have a few lings sat underneath these ravens doing absolutely jack all. As this infestation pit starts to die. Hydra's coming out though, and of course, no cloak right now. Oh, he could have cloaked that and saved it, but he didn't. Ah, oh, the infestation pit does die, so that is very handy. He does not want infestors out right now. And another Banshee goes down again. These Banshees are just not doing enough for how much they cost. This hatchery is here now. He's expanding over to this location, which is a good idea. Things are being shot at. Lings are dying to Banshees. And these rocks are going down now to allow him access to this third base. Um, we have two more starpots going. Okay, so he's going full on Sky Terran right now, which is uh, yeah. Here we go, Fusion Core down there as well. So yep, yeah, we are going to see battle cruisers, Banshees, Ravens, everything under the sun. As uh, as Lelush is going to take the gold base as well, which is the correct response to this, because the correct response to a Sky Terran is to macro like crap and just. Um, just get a ton of stuff. Get infestors out, get hydras out, and you're going to hold this all day long. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know. I haven't seen Sky Terran style for a while now, and if he hits it right, it could do a ton of damage, but I just think everything has been so piecemeal. He's lost so many Banshees up to this point that he could have had in this engagement right now, and Bailings are taking down all the Marines. So, uh, once again, that attack is stopped completely. And once again, that is another ton of units who will not have for the final push. Ah, oh, this is so frustrating to me right now. When you see a player like this just throwing away units completely pointlessly. And again, the Overseer is going to come out here and another Vanshee goes down. Again, without doing any real serious damage. What a complete waste this is. Ah, uh, one spore crawler here is enough to make this pretty much ineffective again. Ah, <sighs> and it goes down. <sighs> well, he has dropped an orbital command here, which is nice to see because he does need the economy. But right now, Lolus is nearly double the supply. He's at you know nearly double the bases because he has the gold base which pretty much counts as two. And he has infestors on the way which are going to fungal all the battle cruisers when they pop out. Right now Prodigy cannot even use these two starports. Finally does. So that is way behind. He does not have constant production out of these starports which you need as a Sky Terran. And once again he sent these Marines forward just to die pointlessly doesn't even use the bailings on them because it's not worth wasting the bailings. Ah, that's my frustrated noise. I am annoyed. These rocks are going to go down giving him access to the third base of Prodigy and Prodigy has not even dropped a unit here. He's not even dropped a supply depot here to see this happening which is something you really really need to do. Okay, so Grand Carapace level 2 is on the way which is just of course the armor upgrade that is going to give him another advantage and he's dropping a hatchery here because he is safe as houses right now his creep is halfway across the map which is where it needs to be uh, when you're using hydras because they are so so slow off creep he's putting two spore crawlers down here and here which is just going to help defend the forward points against the banshees uh, a third on its way now god they look hilarious when they run Okay, and the Zerglings have broken through the rocks. And in they come now. Bye-bye SCVs. Bye-bye mules. Really slow on the react there from Prodigy. So he's losing more and more stuff. 
and the battle cruisers are here now. They are going to put a stop to that. But of course, it means he knows battle cruisers are out now. Although I'm pretty sure he expected that to come. That is pretty much how Sky Terran works. This here, uh, the super slow queen on the way as well. Yeah, this is going to die horribly. This uh, this base is dead. It does have battle cruisers and ravens out here, but. No, sorry, Lelush, everything dying here under his capable hands. Bye bye, base. If we head out into the middle of the map, we see Sporecrawl is getting some good hits in. Queen does go down there. But it's not going to matter. All this is doing is slowing the push of Prodigy and allowing Lelush to build an army at home. A couple of infestors popping there. As he has units, we have more and more stuff. Hydra's coming out now to help defend against this. Meanwhile, in the main base of Prodigy, everything dying now. Supply Depot, Starport. This is the end of the game. He's lifting his barracks and floating it towards his opponent. Either these units here kill everything Lelush has, or Lelush wins. So Lelush has won this game, you can be absolutely certain of that. In the base now, again a prodigy, everything going down here, infested terrorism being dropped, flying a, a, an orbital command away, uh, flying a starport away there, building a tank lab on it to get some more stuff out, but it's not going to be enough, I am afraid. Fungal goes down on the battle cruisers, does not last incredibly long anymore. But still, that is doing damage. One battle cruiser dies horrendously there. More and more Hydras out now to defend. More Infestors on the way as well. There we go. Another wonderful fungal there. Dropping Infested Terrans like nobody's business. PDDs are doing some good defense, but it's not enough. All the battle cruisers die. Prodigy GGs. And Lelouch takes it 3 0. As God intended. Lelouch. Round of applause, far, far better player than whoever was playing under the Prodigy tag here. Um, not a lot else to say, visit scforum.eu because uh, we are all a bunch of fun and hijinks and other fancy stuff. That's it, that's it for today, I'm done. I will see you all tomorrow with um, with some better games. Not better games, uh, more exciting games. Lelouch is just... He was a skill level totally above Prodigy, and it really, really showed right there. Uh, I think it especially showed in today's game. So I'm hoping now to bring you something a bit more close, a bit more tense, and a bit more exciting. Stick around to find out what that is. I'll see you all tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching.